I never thought to myself a day that I'd be a rapper. I didn't know, like I had that in me. Sat down in the seat and said, you know what? I'm gonna be a rapper. Never. Until after I released my first song and it did well. I kind of like discovered myself during the whole process of like making Dublin. Prior to me releasing that um, single, I used to just do freestyle rap like. I'm next up by Molly Head. See Cello's next up, no cap, no doubt. This why I hang up when they wanna hang out. Lay nice in the stew, have me all stressed out. I do this for my dark stay, do this for the clout. It really stood out to me because I hadn't heard many artists like that. I had that like, lyrical capability and just the, the flow was proper impressive. I bought the beat off Max, so I was like, cool, I have, I have a beat. Now I need to write something iconic to this beat. Let me make a track for my area, like with zero expectations, like zero. You came to me, you said, right, I actually have this idea for a beat. You know, it's a bit strange, like it's a bit weird. It's the sample Foggy Dew by Sinead O'Connor. Me, I've, I've always been interested in Irish music as well. It kind of made sense already, you know, I was like, I actually should have done this before. I couldn't imagine it on a beat yeah. at all, you know. It took a long time to, to really chop it up and get it in time, all that sort of stuff. I put everything into making it work, you know. Stretched it out, did so many things to just uh, make sure it worked. And that's why it took like, what, eight, eight attempts or yeah, something so until we got the right one. I met my manager. When he heard the beat for the first time, he loved it. At that time, I, I kind of fell out of love for the beat. I played it for him and he was like, yo, this beat is stupid. We need to do this, we need to do that. You need to make a song about this. Okay, cool. Let me try that shit again one more time. New lyrics, new vibe, new environment. Fresh. That's how Dublin just came about, literally. Two fellas off um, me and off Instagram went to the studio, made a track about the area. Bang, full stop. The track started to do its thing. We didn't put one cent of the market in. No ads, just literally word of mouth, organic, literally. Yeah, I was just excited to, to release my first song. Like, I didn't know what to expect. So when I saw the numbers go up, yeah. I thought that was meant to happen. Like, I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. Like that, that's what usually happens. Like, <laughs> when you produce a song for someone, like, that's just bound to happen. After the release, like, I started making tracks like Oggy, I made Oskelge, all sorts of like jumpy tracks that people might like. I was overwhelmed, but like, the creativity it was just like 100%, the morale was 100%. So, yo, bro, I'm from Dublin, yo, I'm from Dublin. But you don't know shit about me, you don't know anything about me. Yeah, I am from Dublin, you know what I mean? Like, because people are assuming that there's no black Irish people, innit? That's what Dublin was to me. It was a statement that, yo, this is the Irish culture. We, we have people coming from all over the globe, picking up the Irish samples, picking up the Irish language and pushing it. Even if it's classical music, if it's rap, if it's pop, R&B, whatever it is, Make sure your identity is seen and then make sure people know that, yo, whatever you do, make sure it's you, unapologetically. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and play. Uh, this was the first um, the first demo that I sent yeah. you. It's sure. been a while, we haven't listened to it in, in a long time. Yeah. Not even bro. Bro, 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 I'm confused. Why do I like this? I'm like, what the, why the hell do I like this? The sample, I kind of made it more atmospheric by adding reverb and um, EQing out the, the low frequencies, or the high frequencies. After that, I added some, just some drill drums. <laughs> that was crazy, bro. Uh, uh. Sella wanted something, you wanted a switch in the second verse. Thank you. 
Yo, yo, yo. It's Salo. I'm joined here with my producer, Max. I'm gonna strip back Dublin for you. Know the vibe. Yo, be from Dublin, but you don't know shit about me. I never been John, never been OT. I'm on the seaside with my grab this beat. I got love for the boys in the sea, so I can't see, so I got love for me. Aight, shots to Gee, that's my clan, my family. Don't go fuck them, feeling us. Uh, they ain't feeding us. We sound like them, we can never be one of us. I rap for E, like I'm Robbie Keane. My bro to the wing, no Damien Dope. 16 with a 16 inch, I swear I got back for things and stuff. You see now, snakes down juggling. Best believe you won't leave with a check, so they catch you when you ain't got nothing. They will grab you and smash our face. It's a scary place. You get brought by your next door neighbor, and the next day they ask for a favor, or maybe throw cause the food is laced. Ah, uh. mad up, mad up. Run air, that shit don't add up. It's real bad, man. Come, man, get slap up. You want chat shit, ugly boy, get bang up. It's far from good in the hood, but I still got love for my side of town. Real talk, what you know about struggle? I scare around there with dogs in the tough for life. Yo, be from Dublin, but you don't know shit about me. I never been John, never been OT. I'm on the seaside with my grandpa's beef. Got love for the boys in the sea, so I got see, so I got love for me. Aye. That's the key, that's my club, my family. Thank you.